Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another session of story time with me. I'm Miss Seema and you're watching Seema Story Time. So children, there are times when we say that we have an invisible bucket above our head. And when the bucket is full, we are very happy. But when our bucket is empty, we feel very awful. Why is that? What is this invisible bucket which is always hanging over our head? Have you ever thought about it? Well, for me also, it's a completely new thing. And I would like to know what is Felix thinking about it. So the name of the story is, How Full Is Your Bucket? Yes, so let's read the story, children. Children, the name of the story is, how Full Is Your Bucket? Written by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. Illustrated by Maury J. Manning. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. I'm big. Stay back, you will knock it over. It can be, I can be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Talk. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes... Felix couldn't quite well when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small grey bucket floating over his head. When Felix came down to, his, to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix slipped and choco weed scattered across the floor. Felix! yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drips spill out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the chocolate wreaths and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite... Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Drip. Psst. Felix. Psst. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. It was still morning and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. As he watched his classmate walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. But that's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bucklenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop. Drop, plop, plink, drop. The Giganotosaurus who wanted a pet. By me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. Well, nice colors there, Felix. It's a dog. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. 
At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Here's your baseball catch. Drop. Thanks, dude. Drop. Hi, I'm Felix. First day. Drop. Yes, I'm Amir. Drop. The strange thing was that every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You are right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's stone doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought dogs might have an invisible bucket too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Wow! Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. The end. Well, children, I'm sure you would have noticed that it was so easy for Felix to fill up others' bucket. So basically when we say filling up a bucket is to please people, to do things for people and when you do it for them, you, you are making them happy and that means that you have filled up the bucket. And when you fill up, fill up somebody else's bucket, eventually you are doing it, you are filling up your own bucket. Isn't it? Which means that you're making yourself happy too. You are, you are getting a different kind of a satisfaction out of it. Isn't it? Great. It was a lovely story. I liked it. I'm sure we all go through this and we have learned something out of it. Isn't it children? Great. Nice story. Cute little story. I loved it. I'm sure you did too. We are going to come back with more. Till then from our story room. It's a bye-bye. See you soon.